Shalom, Israel. It's your boy, New Breed, coming through with another video. As you can see, I'm spending some time in the woods. Anytime you have days of uncertainty, anxiety, come to the woods. Become one with nature. Escape your own thoughts. It's perfect harmony out here. It's the most highest creation. The sounds of the animals. Being one with nature is very important, ladies and gentlemen. In this particular video, I wanted to propose a question to all you individuals out there. And that question is, are you seeking God? Are you seeking God? Are you truly seeking the creator, the most high? Now, what even propelled this particular thought to speak on this topic is the fact that all of the churches are being reopen today after lockdown slash quarantine and i want to share my thoughts regarding that the president has issued the order and the churches are being open nationwide so i gotta ask this question especially for you individuals who have displayed an uncanny dedication to your church body and I want y'all to use some discernment in this video. I'm not speaking about all churches. I'm not speaking about all denominations. But there are certain people right now as I speak who are battling within themselves. They don't know if they want to return to these churches or not. There's a big question mark there because a lot of people have went through a lot during this pandemic. A lot of people don't know where else to turn to but to go back to the churches, although they know deep down in their hearts that during the pandemic, when they needed help, when they needed relief, none of their tithes and offers mattered. There was no one to come and help them. And I want to give a resounding message to those individuals because these people are internally battling right now. Some people can lose hope during a situation like that where you have invested your resources into a church body you have invest you invested personal belongings finances and now you know you have no one to help you out from that congregation from that service and i want to speak to those people because you know what you got to ask yourself are you seeking the most high god who are you seeking after See, a lot of people can tell you what their pastors say. They can tell you what their aunties say, what their uncles say, what their grandparents say. What is God saying to you? What is the creator saying to you? What is he saying? These are the type of thoughts that you really got to ask yourself. These are the questions that you got to ask yourself. And then you got to seek answers. See, there's a lot of devices out there set up to make us spiritually dead inside. There's a lot of distractions out there in the world. There's a lot of different ideologies and beliefs and religious systems. But it has to come a time where you as an individual truly seek the face of the Most High, truly seek God. The power of prayer is real. If you seek, you shall find, as the scriptures tell you. It's got to come a time where you start digging beneath the surface because listen, the most high wouldn't have it. So you invest all your finances in one place that won't help you when you're down and out. The most high wouldn't do that to you. He would not leave you stranded and abandoned. He would not forsake you as a lot of these churches have. And it's got to come a time where you really open your mind, open your eyes and get into that word. Actually go into the scriptures, find out a little bit about your history in the book. Really begin to do your research. It's interesting because a lot of pastors, and I'm speaking of mega pastors, they were really against a lot of brothers and sisters teaching and preaching on the internet. But the truth be told, there's a lot of brothers and sisters on the internet that speak the truth. And you got to find out what resonates with your spirit and not just go along with tradition. A lot of the times it's family pressure, it's tradition. It has to come a time where you make your own decision in life and really seek the face of the Most High God. 
are you seeking God? Are you returning back to these churches? And if you are, what is the reason you're returning? Is it to be around the people? Is it for self-adulation because you had a certain position within the church? What is your purpose? Now, again, you gotta use discernment in this video. I'm not speaking against every church. I'm not speaking against every denomination, but I'm speaking of those people who are battling internally. When they were down and out, the churches had no answers. They had absolutely no answers at all. Um, that's an issue because God's shepherds should be giving answers to the sheep. God's shepherds should be leading during tumultuous times, during times of peril. When all hell hits the fan, God's shepherds are supposed to have answers. That's how you could truly tell, you know, if you're following a false prophet or not. And a lot of these churches are full of them. Now, again, I'm not saying all, but a lot of them are. And if you're a person who's battling, seek God for yourself. Don't worry about what your auntie's saying, what your uncle's saying, what your grandmother's saying. What is God saying to you? Because he speaks to all of us differently. He has a different message for you than he has for them. You need to be in tune. You really need to be in tune to what he's saying to you. There's a frequency that's operating where he's speaking to his chosen. Are you willing to listen? Is it about being seen by the churches? Is it the personal relationships you built? Are you finding God in these churches or are you going there to be entertained? Are you going there to feed into the he say and the she say? Is your church praying against the impositions that's coming against us as people? Are your churches praying against the satanic elitists? The new world order, the conspirators? Is your church praying against these individuals? And these are the type of questions you got to ask before you make a decision in your next move in this initial step of spiritual freedom. A lot of the times on this channel here, we speak on becoming spiritually aware and um, I oblige you to subscribe hit that like button and to share this particular video and also turn all your notifications on so you can get videos as they're being uploaded we delve into a lot of different situations on this particular uh, platform we speak about a volume of things so I welcome all you new subscribers and um, hopefully this video helped you out in your walk and your journey. With that being said, shalom and peace.